Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Daydreams back with another video. While we're waiting on the new kingdom to open up, I'm hoping it's going to be around 1455 guys because uh, I believe it's, or no, 1544 is open right now. I'm waiting for 1545. Hopefully it opens up tonight. If it doesn't, we're just going to have to go smash 1544, but stay tuned guys. I promise you I've been checking the uh, kingdom openings every five minutes or so. I'm waiting for it to open, but while I was waiting guys, you know, um, I wanted to talk to you guys something about the game that I've never really discussed before. And this is some advanced, advanced strategy. Like, probably the most advanced strategy I've ever given to you guys. Like, you know, I can teach all you guys to fight. Um, you know, there might be people that are better at skill attacking than others. There might be people better at farming than others. But there's one thing about this game that really separates the true experts from the amateurs. And... It's the one reason why I think that I'm probably better at this game than anyone that I personally played with and um, I you know played with some great players and my year and a half playing this game but there's one thing that I do that is completely different than everyone else's and this is what I like to call Clash of Kings math or um, just it's just simple calculations of what it's worth to steal the resources that you're stealing what it's worth to zero a player and basically what you're losing in return so let's look at like let me see if I got some battle reports from last night um, showing okay so this was from the uh, ancient battlefield we won that easy or no the uh, dragon campaign we won that um, but okay so we have some scouts here okay so this guy's got okay so this guy's got three million three million food a million iron 400,000 mithril and a million wood <clears throat> now this is great resources guys I would snatch this up in like a farm or something all day which okay now let's check out the troops he's got only 81,000 troops guys that's not much we could hit this easy <clears throat> and I bet 99% of the level 30 castles my size would hit this easy and gladly lose 5,000 you know uh, frontline troops to take this out and take those resources um, because you're gonna have to go through these uh, heavy trebuchet and t7 guards so you're gonna lose you know at least a few thousand troops but it's not worth it guys and I'm gonna tell you why because like you basically do the math in your head what these resources are worth in gold and then calculate how much gold you're gonna have to spend to retrain uh, 5,000 t10 so to retrain 5,000 t10 you're talking like you know 10,000 gold or something it's uh it's pretty expensive so right here is about a thousand uh, t10 and it's gonna cost 2,000 gold to speed them up so yeah you're looking at like 10,000 gold now what's worth more to you resources or troops troops are the most important part of the game the reason that my main castle um, before I uh, handed it over to my buddy has had 14 15 million power without me spending a lot of money is because I am very smart you have to treat every troop like it's your best friend treat every troop as if you know them on a personal level and you do not want anything to happen to them because there's no sense in throwing away troops um, for nothing guys that's how I stack power so easily in my early ages of this game guys I was just an average player I was losing power all the time um, even when I started kingdom 440 guys I was like maybe 50th in power because I would take dumb losses attacking people uh, of course there was no skill back then because I didn't have the 38th skill but basically you have to be smart with your attacks now on resource tiles it does not really matter guys you don't even really have to scout those unless you notice a big name that's someone that can have like a lot of uh, big t10 troops on there um, but just make sure when you're hitting farms and castles just remember the consequences if someone instant recalls or if someone speed reinforces just remember what you can lose okay so we have a cua in our hive okay we're gonna uh, okay i'm not on my leader castle Okay, I believe this guy's only 8 million or he might be the 12 million. Okay, so this is Wolf. He's 14, 15 million power. He's pretty, uh, he's a big spender. So, 
Um, like Thunder, for instance. If I had Thunder's, uh, spent Thunder's money, and I had Thunder's castle with my skill and my intelligence, for one, that thing would be about 50 million power, because I, I have screenshots showing where Thunder has lost 10 million power multiple times. I mean, the dude just throws power away, and that's just something that you don't want to do. King G's pretty good at conserving power. He's taken some losses here and there, but that's why he has so much power. He, um, he, uh, he hits a lot of tiles. He don't take a lot of chances on getting reinforced on. So that's a, um, it's, it's really important, guys, not, not to lose unnecessary troops. So let me find, there was a couple other farms I scouted last night, and I was thinking about hitting, but you don't want to hit them. Okay, right here, look, look at this. 16 million iron. 45 million wood this guy's got only 99,000 troops easy t7s a couple t9 and some t8 archers now guys listen you can take this out easy and you can farm this easy but listen to me this could be a trap because no one just leaves that many resources out without their friends being able to quick reinforce so you either want to hit this at night when the enemy's sleeping and have your finger on the instant recall button because you don't want to lose five marches. Remember, five marches is not worth any amount of resources. Your power and your troops are the most important part of the game. So that's what you really want to focus on, guys. You want to focus on your power and your troops. Resources and raiding is great. Causing destruction to the enemy is great. But the last thing you want to do is give up your troops and power. Even when hitting farms, guys, listen. Early on in Kingdoms, um, you got to remember that when you're only like a 16 castle and you're hitting level 11 farms um, If they're someone that isn't smart and they use uh, t4 troops You're taking unnecessary losses on those farms. So hit empty farms hit farms without uh, very many troops in them uh, Rally a farm first if you have to I mean it sounds stupid rallying a farm But um, some of these farms in 440 that are like level 19 level 20 um, level 22 a lot of these are farms guys he's like level 19 22 farms a lot of times it's better to rally them guys so that way everyone shares losses then you empty them out um i like to only like i won't hit farms that are in main alliances like uh or if i see like say i'm gonna hit this i i see this sky hive because i'm about to do some attacking guys i'm waiting to be in reinforced um but say I'm going to hit this Sky Alliance, guys, just do your due diligence. Go here, go to your Alliance board, look and see, okay, it's got 8 million power. Go to, not the Alliance board, go to Alliance members, and then just um, go through. And it's either going to usually be an R4, I see no high power, R1. So all I have to worry about is this 2 million power player. He can reinforce me with maybe some T8. And that's all they got. So... Do your due diligence and check through the farm alliances before you hit this. This is advanced stuff, guys, that I've never talked about before. But this is what I think separates me from most players. Because there's tons of good players, even in LOK, who can skill hit just as good as me. Who can, um, you know, call out rallies just as good as me. Who can lead attacks just as good as me. But efficiency is the number one way to be a top player. Is being efficient with your power don't take unnecessary losses during kill events look at all these tiles guys during kill events especially in younger kingdoms like um 500 to 1500 if you're in a newer kingdom where people are still gathering during kill events all you have to do is hit tiles during uh during kill events don't even hit a castle why waste your time on castles when there's plenty of tiles to hit you can heal up for free you're getting more points because there's more troops and you're not taking any losses there's no reason to and if you run your farms correctly you don't even need resources from other castles you can get all of your resources from your own farms and then you can cherry pick from the weak farms that are empty have no troops in them go in get your few million get out um a lot of times you can get you know 50 million resources with only losing a little bit of power just weigh your options guys if you, if you're going to lose a lot of power especially if you're hitting a main castle say Say a castle's got like 300,000 troops and you're going to skill hit it and it's got 50,000 left. You're going to take a few losses. That's okay. Do that and get your resources. But don't take a castle. Say it's got 100 million wood. It's got 400,000 troops. You skill hit it once. It's got 200,000 left in it. You got to hit it two more times without the skill. Say you lose 40, 50,000 troops. That's not worth that 100 million wood. It just isn't. It, you know, the 
it costs money and time to get troops resources you can earn those resources through your farms and you can earn those resources by hitting other people's farms when it comes to main castles i personally don't like farming main castles because you can get quick reinforced you can get instant recalled you can get trapped there's so many different plays they can do on you when you're farming a main castle personally i don't farm main castles very often unless i know i got a very solid internet connection and most of their alliance is asleep or if i find someone like outside the hive that way i can at least see some lines coming but remember guys it only takes from anywhere on the map right there's that 21k gold we won yesterday on the lucky wheel gotta love that gold um it only takes five or six of these red speed ups to hit you from anywhere on the map and i can reinforce anyone anywhere on the map with some of those red speed ups in under four seconds so by the time you even notice even if you're paying attention just one slip of your finger and you're losing a march if you're not paying attention you're losing five marches so keep that in mind guys remember clash of kings math when you're hitting a castle i'm going to say it one more time calculate what your potential losses are by taking the resources like say this level 26 right here has 10 million iron everyone needs 10 million iron but is it worth losing 500,000 power for that 10 million iron i understand sometimes if you're close to an upgrade if you're about to get your level 30 and you want to kamikaze and lose a little power for it but me personally i would rather wait the extra couple days to gather the iron on my farms or hitting their farms than to hit a main castle and lose troops that i cannot heal and then that makes you less powerful so basically guys this is a key way if you're not taking unnecessary losses those little bits of power you lose um 5,000 here 10,000 there 100,000 on a big battle um you know sometimes during rallies you got to help and sacrifice for your alliance i understand that but when you're going around hitting castles and losing like you know 5k 10k 50k 100k um and then say you take a big loss once and you get caught with the reinforcement and you lose a million it's going to take you weeks or a month or longer to get that power back so if you're someone that's very efficient i'm not telling you to be a farmer never be a farmer you can do just as much damage to the enemy hitting tiles if you come forth to the enemy hive have your alliance reinforce you and you just sit and pick off tiles all day and night and get your kill ranking up that's there's no problem with that you're still doing just as much damage because they can heal in their castles and farms just like they can heal on tiles so you're doing just as much damage to the enemy as if you were hitting their farms or castles but you know of course you're stealing resources when you're hitting farms so um if you're a smaller castle and you have a friend that has like um say he's got a 26 in a newer kingdom and you're just sitting in like a 19 or 16 if he wants to be nice and clear some of the farms out for you the troops so that way you can take some of the resources that'd be a really good friend of him to do that for you and that's another way that you can get the resources without taking losses but i see people too many times taking unnecessary losses because um you know even if you're a spender just remember what your power could be if you hadn't taken those small losses all the time so guys that's just something that i had to uh had to address to you because too many people too many people are making uh making those mistakes and i think that's something that's more advanced about the game the math behind the game the clash of kings uh math because by doing that you're going to be able to calculate what is worth losing for how many troops and i might even get some type of like if anyone's good with spreadsheets or something um let, let me know in the comments we might make a little app that shows you like okay if an enemy has this many troops this many resources how how many resources need to be in there to make it worth me losing troops so let me guys know what you guys think about this tip in the comments we're waiting for the new kingdom right now hopefully the brand new kingdom pops up in the next couple hours or else we're just gonna have to pop into the one that's already there but there's already some alliances there together allied and they've been there probably for a whole day now and i want to get a fresh start guys i don't want to be any any far behind anyone i want to be right there with them so uh i hope you guys appreciate the tips and tricks videos i'll see you in the next video tonight peace